Hello, everyone. I'm Ananta Chandrakasan, the Dean of Engineering at MIT, and I'm delighted to welcome you today to today's event honoring professors Linda Griffith and Douglas Laufenberger, the recipients of this year's Bernard M. Gordon Prize in Innovation in Engineering and Technology Education. Thank you all for joining us here today, and a special thank you to John Anderson, President of the National Academy of Engineering, Bernard Bernie Gordon, and members of the 2021 NAE Gordon Prize Committee. While we hope to host this ceremony in person, we're delighted that the virtual format has allowed all of you to join us to celebrate our recipients. Doug and Linda have made incredible contributions to engineering education at MIT and beyond by founding and establishing the biological engineering discipline at MIT. Building off the revolution of molecular life sciences and genomics, the biological engineering discipline harnesses engineering approaches to translate innovations in the life sciences to therapeutics and a range of non-medical products in agriculture, materials, energy, and nutrition. These innovations and approaches continue to have an enormous impact on society. And this tremendous excitement from our students to be a part of biological engineering. Linda and Doug have been both fundamental in establishing and shaping the biological engineering curriculum at MIT. Apart from their leadership, they're both celebrated teachers and mentors. They continue to inspire current and former students in this space, several of whom are joining us here today. This award, the most prestigious engineering education award in the country, honors Doug and Linda's contributions to biological engineering education and serves as a moment to celebrate the entire biological engineering community at MIT. We're proud of MIT's connection with the National Academy of Engineering and our aligned commitment to world changing innovation and societal impact. It is on that note, I'd like to introduce our next speaker, president of the NAE, John Anderson. I had the privilege of introducing John as the new president of the NAE during an event we hosted here at MIT just two years ago. John was elected as a member of the NAE in 1992 and began his term as the president on July 1st, 2019. John served as the president of Illinois Tech from 2007 to 2015. He's a distinguished professor emeritus of chemical engineering at Illinois Tech's Armour College of Engineering. He has likewise held academic leadership positions including Chair of Biomedical Engineering, Department Head of Chemical Engineering, and Dean of Engineering at Carnegie Mellon University, as well as Provost and Executive Vice President at Case Western Reserve University. John has numerous impressive and distinct honors, including his appointment to the National Science Board by President Barack Obama in 2014. John is no stranger to MIT, where he served as a visiting professor of chemical engineering from 1982 to 1983 as a Guggenheim Fellow. He was also a member of MIT's visiting committee from 1988 to 1992 under President Chuck West. I'm delighted that John is joining us today to celebrate our honorees. With that being said, I'd like to turn it over to John. Thank you for your kind introduction, Dean Chandra Kassan. Um, and good afternoon. It is my great pleasure to welcome the award winners, family, friends, colleagues, and guests to this Gordon Prize presentation. I, like most of you, wish we could hold this celebration in person. However, the pandemic had other ideas. I certainly thank our MIT hosts, President Raphael Reif, Ananta Chandra Sikasan, Dean of the School of Engineering, and the Van Averbush Professor of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Angela Belcher, Head of the Department of Biological Engineering 
and the James Mason Crafts Professor of Biological Engineering and Material Science. And this is to Professor Robert Langer. Bob was a nominator for this year's winners, and I thank him for submitting the nomination. I also want to recognize the immediate past chair of the Gordon Prize Selection Committee, David Walt, who's in the Department of Pathology at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. I thank the Gordon Prize Selection Committee for their good work in determining the winners we honor today. And I also would like to introduce NAE Executive Officer Al Romick, who's present. On behalf of myself and the National Academy of Engineering, I extend heartfelt thanks to Bernie Gordon. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the prize. Without his generous donation, recognizing the importance of engineering leadership and his interest in education, this prize would not exist. We are indebted to you, Bernie, for your philanthropy, your time, and your leadership. In a moment, I will present the NEE's, indeed the world's most prestigious award in engineering education, the Bernard M. Gordon Prize for Innovation in Engineering and Technology Education. It includes a $500,000 cash award, half of which goes to the recipients and the other half to the institution to support the continued development, refinement, and dissemination of the recognized innovation. The recipients also receive a commemorative medallion and certificate. Now we'll hear a little bit about the remarkable engineer behind this prize. The Bernard M. Gordon Prize for Innovation in Engineering and Technology Education was inaugurated in 2002 by the National Academy of Engineering. The intent of the Gordon Prize is to recognize new modalities and experiments in education that develop effective engineering leaders. Now, for over 10 years, the Gordon Prize has recognized individuals that have innovated in areas such as curricular design, teaching methods, and technology-enabled learning that strengthen students' capabilities and desire to grow into leadership roles. The award was created to recognize professors, teachers, in technical institutions who understood that there was much more to engineering than learning theory and that there was a need to inculcate, not in everyone, because that's not possible, uh, an attitude. Uh, there's an old phrase that it takes knowledge, skills, and attitude to be a successful engineer, let alone an engineering leader. to society at large. The Gordon Prize recognizes educational efforts that cultivate this leadership. Both the National Academy of Engineering and I together recognized that the educational process in technology had changed so much over the past decades that there was now a dearth of engineering leaders. It does not take a large percentage of engineers to be leaders. It's about the same ratio as a platoon leader to a combat platoon, you know, one in 20. If you can get one in 
20 engineers to have the capability, the desire, the will uh, to be the leader, you increase the productivity tremendously. It's not about academic achievement, it's about industrial, real world, turning out products that society needs that will enhance the economy of the United States. These leadership qualities are critical to America's competitiveness in the 21st century. The teachers and educational approaches that are recognized by the Gordon Prize are an immense service to the engineering community, to the engineer as an individual, and make the world a better place for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Bernard M. Gordon, who will offer his personal congratulations. Bernie? Thank you. Uh, first, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here with you uh, via you know, remote, remote communication. And so first, I'd like to offer my own appreciation and for and congratulations of the work done by Linda and Doug and to offer my uh, congratulations upon getting and receive, yeah, receiving the prize. Uh, having uh, participated in the uh, meetings that end up determining who gets the prize, I assure you that it's a very detailed process that takes a long time and therefore you to be doubly congratulated by getting the prize. So again, let me really uh, end by uh, saying I appreciate the opportunity uh, to be here over the phone and look forward. I, I have had the pleasure of uh, meeting Linda in the past. I have not yet met Dr. Laufenberger, and I, I hope sometime in the future to be able to meet you both again. Thank you very much and for allowing me to participate. Bye. Thank you, Bernie. And now it is my pleasure to announce the 2021 recipients of the NAE Bernard M. Gordon Prize for Innovation in Engineering and Technology Education, Dr. Linda G. Griffith and Dr. Douglas A. Laufenberger. They are recognized for the establishment of a new biology-based engineering education, producing a new generation of leaders capable of addressing world problems with innovative biological technologies. Linda Griffith is the School of Engineering Teaching Innovation Professor of Biological and Mechanical Engineering and the McVicker Fellow at MIT, where she founded and directs the Center for Gynepathology Research. She also led development of the MIT Biological Engineering SB degree program, which was approved in 2005 as MIT's first new undergraduate major in 39 years. Dr. Griffith has pioneered a number of approaches in tissue engineering, including the first tissue engineered cartilage in the shape of a human ear, commercialization of the 3D printing process for the manufacture of FDA approved scaffolds, commercialization of the 3D perfused liver chip for drug development and synthetic matrices for tissue morphogenesis. She recently led one of two major DARPA supported body on a chip programs, resulting in the first platform to culture 10 different human mini organ systems interacting continuously for a month. She is now establishing the field of physiomimetics, integrating these platform technologies with systems biology and systems immunology to humanize drug development for the most challenging chronic inflammatory diseases, including endometriosis, and adenomyosis. Through collaboration with industry partners in pharma and biotech around the world. She has over 200 peer reviewed scientific publications and holds more than a dozen patents. 
Linda has chaired numerous scientific meetings, including last year's Keystone Tissue Organoids Conference, the 2016 Signal Transduction by Engineering at the Cellular Matrix Gordon Research Conference, and since 2015, the annual Open Endo Endoscopic Forum, which brings together gynecology surgeons, scientists, and engineers annually at MIT for a TED conference-like weekend. She is a member of the National Academy of Engineering and recipient of a MacArthur Foundation Fellowship, a Radcliffe Fellowship, and several awards from professional societies. And just two days ago, she was elected to membership in the National Academy of Medicine. Congratulations, Linda. She serves on the advisory board of the Society for Women's Health Research and has served on the advisory councils for the National Institute of Dental and Craniofacial Research and the National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal Diseases. And she sits on the advisory committee to the director of the National Institutes of Health. She received her bachelor's degree from Georgia Tech and her PhD from the University of California, Berkeley, both in chemical engineering. Doug Laufenberger is the Ford Professor of Bioengineering in the Departments of Bi Biological Engineering, Chemical Engineering, and Biology at MIT. He was the founding head of the Department of Biological Engineering in 1998 and served in that capacity until 2019. He also holds affiliations with MIT's Center for Biomedical Engineering, Center for Gynopathology Research, and the Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research, as well as the Reagan Institute of Massachusetts General Hospital, MIT, and Harvard. Before joining MIT in 1995, he had been a member of the faculty at the University of Pennsylvania and the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. A central focus of the Laufenberg Research Program is systems biology approaches to cell-cell communication and cell signaling important in pathophysiology, with emphasis on translational application to therapeutics, discovery and development in cancer, pathogen infection, and inflammatory disease. Dr. Laufenberger co-authored co the 1993 monograph Receptors Models for Binding, Trafficking, and Signaling, and the 2009 National Research Council report on a new biology for the 21st century. And he co-edited the 2010 book, Systems Biomedicine, Concepts and Perspectives. He has supervised more than 130 doctoral students and postdoctoral associates. Doug has served as president of the Biomedical Engineering Society and the chair of the College of Fellows of the American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering. Is a member of the Advisory Council for the National Institute of General Medical Sciences. He has also been a scientific advisor to numerous biotech pharma companies and biomedical science foundation. Along with many honors and awards from professional societies, Professor Laufenberger is a member of the National Academy of Engineering and a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, and the American Scientific Affiliation. His BS and PhD, degree, PhD degrees are in chemical engineering from the University of Illinois and the University of Minnesota, respectively. As I say, with a warm feeling in my heart as a chemical engineer, I am extremely proud of these two outstanding chemical engineers. I am delighted to present the 2021 Bernard M. Gordon Prize for Innovation and Engineering in Engineering and Technology Education to Drs. Linda G. Griffith and Douglas A. Lovenberger. Linda will give a remarks on her and Doug's behalf. Linda, the microphone is yours. Thank you so much. It's really a tremendous pleasure and honor to accept the Gordon Prize for Inge Innovation and Engineering Education, um, awarded this year to me and Doug Lovenberger for our uh, part, um, and we only played a part of a much bigger community in creating this new discipline of biological engineering, which is a huge step for engineering in general, because now we incorporate modern molecular life science as a true basis of engineering. Um, this is a really special award um, because it in so many ways recognizes the accomplishments of MIT students in becoming leaders and 
in a whole new generation of engineers, biological engineers. The criteria for this prize don't focus so much on any particular individual accomplishment of me or Doug or our colleagues. It really focuses on the success of the graduates from the programs that we were involved in leading. Um, the success that they had when they went out into the world beyond MIT, and particularly their success not just in doing things, but actually becoming leaders across all areas of industry, academia, and government service. Certainly those of us who are in Cambridge and actually come to campus just have to look to Kendall Square to see the tremendous success in translating what happens at MIT in terms of research and education into practice to solve societal problems through biological engineering. There are so many startup companies, large pharma companies, all different kinds of activities emanating out from MIT and Kendall Square, out through the suburbs of Boston to New York, to the West Coast, and in fact, around the world, led by our undergraduate and graduate students who were brave enough to trust us with their education and professional development. And so really, it's the curiosity and incredible energy of MIT students that is being, being in, a, in a sense, recognized here because they were the ones who inspired everything that we did to start the program. We can look back to, to the early uh, 90s in 1993, MIT, our colleagues um, uh, started a requirement that all MIT undergraduates take modern molecular life science as a general institute requirement. So without that, without the huge contributions there from the biology department, we wouldn't be here today. And the undergraduates across MIT who were taking this became hugely energized with the potential to apply engineering to biology. And they pushed the faculty to start first elective classes joint between biology and engineering, and then those elective classes started to take shape into vision for really how do we create a curriculum that teaches engineers in general how to translate the fabulous advances in biology into practice through engineering analysis, design, and synthesis. And of course, our first graduate students starting in 1999 were intrepid and fearless and overjoyed to help us shape this curriculum. We, they were part and parcel um, on all our curriculum committees to develop this. Uh, so it's really a tremendous pleasure to, to recognize that this is the accomplishments of students uh, for which this award is made. I focused on the students, but of course, Doug and I were only part of a huge group of faculty who um, worked together with the administration to create first a new academic unit and then two new degree programs, a graduate and undergraduate degree program. So we're, of course, indebted to folks in our department, but also across MIT who play tremendous partnership roles in mentoring students and in teaching these students. And finally, of course, my interactions with um, Bernard Gordon going back about a decade were hugely, hugely inspirational in efforts we made over the past 10 years or so to increase the level of leadership training we have for our students. There's not a lot we actually need to do for MIT students. They tend to be very, very outgoing and creative and initiative taking, but his leadership in showing how some formal training really can transform the ability of these students to succeed as leaders out in the world beyond MIT um, inspired us to incorporate many aspects of leadership into our formal educational programs. And for that, I remain tremendously, tremendously grateful for the whole fact that this prize exists, for the inspiration it gave us, and of course, for the things that we can do now with the um, award at MIT to further the education of our students. So thank you very much um, to um, Bernard Gordon and to the National Academy of Engineering to our colleagues and students um, for this award. Well, thank you. Um, my name is uh, Angela Belcher, and um, that was so beautifully said, uh, uh, Linda. Um, I just wanted to, uh, to thank uh, Bernard and, and John and the National Academy of Engineering for being here today to help us celebrate um, this amazing um, award and uh, uh, accomplishment on on uh, innovation and engineering education. And you think about what, what we are in, in BE at uh, 
at MIT, those, those three words just go together uh, so perfectly, innovation, education, um, and, uh, and engineering. So it's just a, uh, it's a huge um, um, honor to be here to, to watch Linda and, and Doug um, receive this uh, award today for their development of the department of their vision um, of this, this new discipline of, of biological engineering, be a part of it. But I think one of the very important parts is it's the creation of the community. Um, it's the, the catalyst, the creation of the community that made this, this happen. And as Linda um, remarked so many times before, it's the courage of, of our students. Um, and with that, um, um, because, it, because we can't be um, all, all together in person today, it allowed us to, to be able to go to our, our students um, and uh, other people in our department to put together a video saying um, a little bit about what BE means to them, what, what Linda and what Doug means to them. So uh, I'll let the, the video say the rest of the words. The 20th anniversary Gordon Prize recognizes something rare, the pioneering vision, brilliant science, and creative perseverance required to help bring a whole new discipline to life. Spearheading the launch and growth of the MIT Department of Biological Engineering has created a global center for one of the most important new fields of our time. Doug and Linda, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Doug and Linda, on this fantastic award. Linda and Doug, thank you. Thank you for creating a new discipline that's impacted the world at the grad and undergrad levels but also in industry and beyond. Thank you for inspiring us all to pursue our dreams and curiosity. We're all indebted to you. Congratulations on this great award. Yeah, congratulations, Doug and Linda. I mean, I think one of the pieces of evidence of your legacy so far has been the, the widespread sprinkling of BE alumni and BE and BME departments all over the country and all over the world. And it's always been fun and easy to talk with other BEers because our questions are anchored not around engineering tools, but instead around understanding the biology using engineering principles. So thank you for that. Um, and we can see the influence of this discipline you've created already all over the world in academia. And thank you both for admitting so many of us from diverse backgrounds. It changed the direction of our careers from uh, an Irish mechanical engineer like me. And a computer scientist like me. And a lowly biochemist like me. <laughs> to an international student who didn't know much about biology, but learned it really well thanks to you and your priorities. I think we all talked about how we really felt very supportive as, as, as individuals by you two, that, um, that it really built a department where we could figure out who we were and what, what part of the biological engineering spectrum was right for us. And uh, we never felt like a number, we felt like a, like, like a person with a, with a path and a trajectory. Doug and Linda, congratulations. We're really grateful for the amazing example you both set as leaders. And I think you folks are ones that a lot of us try to emulate in our lives since MIT. Thank you for making me a family. Thank you, Doug and Linda. What an amazing thing you've built. Congrats. Congratulations. 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 Hi, Linda and Doug. I hope all is well. I wanted to congratulate both of you on receiving this year's Bernard M. Gordon Prize. I'm so grateful to the both of you for creating such a wonderful department in biological engineering and a phenomenal measure that helps train the undergraduates both academically and professionally as well as personally. I have learned so much from my time at MIT as an undergrad in course 20 and still apply what I learned every day in my career now in the pharmaceutical industry. Not only did I grow scientifically and academically, but you both helped me grow into the scientist and mentor that I am today through your continued guidance, both at my time at MIT, as well as since. Linda, you taught me how to teach and I still cherish my memories of teaching 2110 with you. It was one of my favorite times and I, just, I can't thank both of you enough for all that you've done in helping create the person that I am today. Sending so much love and many regards from Northern California. I'd like to share my congratulations on your uh, 
Golden Engineering Education Prize. Uh, I think you guys have been a great inspiration for me and my career at MIT and uh, you know, your devotion to the undergraduate teaching and inspiration for young people grow up, not just technically and scientifically, but also uh, become a more mature person. So I really enjoyed working with you and hope to continue to work with you for many, many decades coming. Congratulations. Hi, Doug and Linda. Congratulations. This is such a well-deserved honor. Your supervision and MIT's BE program taught me how to measure and model the workings of cells. You in the program have also now shaped how I mentor and educate my own trainees. Thank you. Dear Linda and Doug, congratulations on this very well-earned award. Your vision for a new discipline and your selfless leadership in founding and guiding our department what brought so many of us to join BE. And your commitment to teaching and guiding the whole community in the classroom and by your everyday examples of tireless devotion continue to inspire us. I wish you all the best on this very, very happy occasion. Linda and Doug, it's a real personal and professional pleasure to congratulate you both on this well-deserved prize for engineering and technology education. Doug, it was your vision over 20 years ago of establishing an entirely new type of biological engineering department, one focused on engineering biomolecules, cells, tissues, and organs, and more generally is building an entirely new type of engineering science that attracted me and many others to join you in this effort. And Linda, it was your vision of putting together a totally new undergraduate curriculum in biological engineering, one based on molecular biology, biochemistry, cell biology, and genetics, but also on the physical chemistry of biomolecules, quantitative measurements of molecule cells and tissues, and incorporating many engineering disciplines that led to the first new undergraduate curriculum at MIT in many years, and one that served as a model curriculum for the entire country. So congratulations, both of you, on a very well-deserved award. Congratulations, Doug and Linda. I'm so thrilled that you've won this award. And I came to MIT BE because of your clear and powerful vision of what it means to be a bioengineer. The courses and training were spot on, but you didn't just build a great technical program. MIT BE is remarkable because of your personal investment in students. I always felt welcome and supported throughout my time at MIT. So thank you and congratulations. I am so incredibly thankful for the opportunities that Doug, Linda, and the MIT Biological Engineering Department have given to me in my life and my career. Uh, the MIT Biological Engineering Department is not only a leader in scientific advances, but one that truly creates and supports its students, both undergraduates and especially graduate students, to not only become great leaders, but to become great stewards of science. Uh, from my first encounter with, with Doug at my visit weekend when I was still an undergraduate, um, it became incredibly clear to me that this was a department that didn't just value scientific advances, but valued creating well-rounded scientists. Um, and that is something that I don't think is, is nearly as common across academia, but through the unwavering leadership and support for the graduate students to be both people and scientists, to be supported both personally and professionally. Um, these two have, have been incredible uh, advocates uh, for the advancement of, of scientific academia. And I just have to say, I'm, I'm so incredibly uh, proud of what they have built and my small role um, as a participant and a beneficiary to their hard work. Um, congratulations to, to both of them. Congratulations, Doug and Linda, on this fantastic award uh, that recognizes your contributions to engineering and education. I'm just really grateful for this vision for biological engineering. Uh, it's really changing with biology and engineering and putting forth one of the most productive interdisciplinary uh, visions of, of any kind anywhere. Uh, building the department at MIT and, and uh, initiating this, this movement that's really 
uh, shaking up human health and, and human well-being for the better everywhere. Uh, so very grateful for all of your leadership, uh, your guidance, your hard work, and and the community building that uh, that you put forth as well. Hi, Linda, Doug. Congratulations on being awarded the Bernard M. Gordon Prize in Engineering Education. When you both set out to found and create the Department of Biological Engineering, you created something very special. It has had a transformational impact on a whole generation of new biological engineers, but more personally, it also transformed my life. So I want to thank you for your efforts in creating this unique environment and what I think is the best biological engineering program on the planet. Thank you again and a hearty congratulations. Linda and Doug, congrats on being awarded the 2022 Gordon Prize from the NAE. You two have been captains at the helm amidst a sea change in bioengineering education over the past 20 years. Linda, your pedagogical approach is engaged, inspirational, and filled to the brim with real-world bioengineering application. Doug, your infusion of biological and mathematical principles has set the standard for rigor in bioengineering curriculum. Together, your efforts have fostered and helped disseminate a whole generation of bioengineering educators, and we are deeply indebted and ever thankful. Congrats. Excuse my awful poetry, I come to celebrate victory. Hooray, hooray for Linda and Doug. Let's all gather and give a big hug. A new view of bio has come to be. Engineering will set things for eternity. Congratulations, Doug and Linda, on such a well-deserved honor. We feel really lucky to have witnessed your leadership and energy in defining and growing the discipline of biological engineering in the early days of the department. And I'm so proud to continue to learn from you and to see both our undergraduate and graduate students become great thinkers, creators, engineers, and educators. Your truly remarkable vision and hard work has had a profound impact on so many and will make lasting contributions in academia, industry, and in society as a whole. Cheers. Cheers.